Attention, the following video is going to totally kick ass. If you enjoy any of it and or have a large penis, please click the like button below. Enjoy. Hello everyone, welcome back to South Park The Stick of Truth. Today, we are going to be getting back onto the main quest of this game. But first, we got a ton of comments asking me to check out Cartman's mom's room because there's something special in here for us to grab. So first off, we got to figure out which room is hers. I'm going to assume the one at the end, probably. And it's actually a bathroom, but we can open up this. And we got some random stuff in here, some pubes. Um, oh, there's a toilet? No way. <laughs> oh my god. I wasn't ready for that, hold on. I wonder what happens if you take a massive shit. Okay. Remember, I'm not good at the pressing A things. Oh. One second. I'll get it. Oh my god, that was hard. And now there's treasure in there. A shit nugget. What's the fucking point of that? What do you do with a shit nugget? Really? I just spent 20 times trying to do that for a shit nugget? Fuck you, Kenny. You take a shower? What's A do? Oh, it just turns it back off. Alright, let's head over into Cartman's mom's room. Cartman's mom's room. I bet this is it if you... Underpants... Black Thunder. Bet that's hers. Purple Passion. <laughs> Jackrabbit. That is awesome. Alright, we're gonna take all of these. We'll give them to Keeney. Underpants 1 of 5. Look at that. I guess you're supposed to collect people's underpants. That's interesting. She has an Antonio Banderas love doll. Jehovah will love that when he finds that. The Milkman. Interesting. Purple Dye. And a crack pipe. Okay. Well, I guess that's what you guys wanted to see. Um, for our main quest, we need to head over to the goth kids. They are hanging out by the school, and we need to recruit them. All right, Kenny thinks he's funny. Not really quite sure why he does. There's an awesome O. That is awesome. It's just a bunch of stuff. There's Faith plus one. Just a bunch of South Park stuff relating to all the episodes. That's that's really cool. I like that a lot. Oh, it's just Polly Prissy Pants. She won't talk to me. And some toys in here. Nope, that's the radio. What's in here? Health potion. I'm already full on that. A Faith Plus One CD. All right, that's cool. A lot of people wanted me to, uh, you know, explore more and just uh, do stuff like that. So I guess I can do that. Oh, that's funny. I remember them from that episode. All right, let's head over to the school. I'm using fast travel in the backyard, and I will catch you guys over there. Hey, Mrs. Cartman, I found your cool stuff. I made some powdered donut pancake surprise if you boys get hungry later. Well, I know what you'll do when you get hungry for the dick later. Before I start, I thought it'd be fun to come look what it says on the description for all these items. So Black Thunder is often teamed up with White Lightning. And we got the Jack Rabbit here, which is a strange toy that realistically simulates the shaking of a frightened rabbit. Oh, Miss Cartman must love that. Purple Passion is grape flavored. That's interesting. Where was the milkman at? There it is. Not named for its color. Oh, that's that's really interesting there. All right, let's go and find the goth kids. This game is too much. Can we go back here? Oh, I thought that'd be harder to get into. It looked like it was locked or something. Wasn't expecting to walk right back here. I bet the goth kids are sitting right behind the school like always. Who's that? I think it's that new kid people are talking about. Beat it, new kid. This area is strictly for goth kids. What's this? Join the kingdom of Koopa Keep to battle the wicked elves. All recruits welcome. Sorry, Frodo. We don't play Dungeons and Douchebags. Yeah, beat it, new kid. Oh, come on. Let's do it. We never do anything. No way. We can't do what this kid asks us to do. He's a conformist. Look at his clothes and his hair. Yeah, tell you what, new kid. Get the right clothes and some cigarettes and coffee and then talk to us again. Yeah, if you want to prove you aren't a conformist, then you need to look exactly like we do. Then, maybe we'll consider hanging out with you. Alright, so my new quest is nonconformist. I guess I'm going to be dressing up like these guys. Find some cigarettes, prove yourself to the goths, find some coffee. Alright, we got a lot of tasks here. Alright, so I need to buy a goth cap, I need to buy a pair of goth gloves, I need to buy a goth outfit and put it on, and also I need to find some dark roast coffee because drinking coffee is pretty goth. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so... Let's see where they recommend going. I'm assuming we'll have to head to Treek's Coffee for the uh, 
the coffee one, but as for clothing, I haven't bought any. Oh, here we go. Jimbo's Guns. Find a pack of smoke somewhere in South Park. So that's going to be there. Where else are we going to need to go here? And Nonconformist is also there. So I will catch you guys up at Jimbo's Guns unless anything cool happens on the way over there. And then we will head over to the U store it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. There's some weirdo hanging out at the public storage. Don't care. Oh, that's Al Gore he's talking about. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wonder what Al Gore did to him. I want to switch to a new character to play with, by the way, so I'm switching over to Butters here. Alright, set buddy. And... Oh, look at that. One thing I did want to check out is the shitty walk, because I heard that there's some pretty funny stuff regarding... Can I get that chin Pokemon? Oh, I know what I need to do. Throw it that way, catch that on fire, and I got myself a chin Pokemon. Brockery! <laughs> Alright, it's funny they put that right outside the Tower of Peace. Alright. Oh, there's a little... Here we go. I couldn't decide where to hide. <laughs> Your hiding spot sucks, and you sound like... Kind of like Wendy Testaburger, maybe. Or one of the girls. Can't quite pin that voice. Maybe, uh... What was the girl that got the big tits that one episode? I can't think of her name. That pisses me off. Uh, Tower of Peace. Let's just... Ooh, a Tower of Peace key is required. Alright, can't go in there. I know a lot of people wanted to see more of the town, so I guess I'll show some of this stuff. City Walk, I definitely want to go in here. I heard there's some funny stuff from my buddy Jehovah, so we will get on to that. Goddamn, I'm going. All right, welcome to City Walk. Take all the prayers. Only thing we're serving today is Mongolian beef. Mongolian beef, so good. Oh, I just love it. Oh, hello, Mongolian. <laughs> Shh, Mongolians are watching. They conquered me last week, act natural. Oh yeah, Mongolian beef, mm, so tasty, right? Wow. It's not tasty at all, it's gross. <laughs> Don't eat it. You eat a Mongolian beef, you shit your pants for five days. All right, Mongolian. Please, you gotta help me out. The Mongolians all live like rats in the Tower of a Peace next door. I'll keep the adults occupied here. You go top a tower and beat up all their kids. Beat up all the Mongolian kids. Then Mongolian think this neighborhood not a safe place. They move away. Go, go. Beat up the little Mongolian kids. Oh, hello, Mongolian. <laughs> Mongolian beef smell like a Rhino Richie's asshole. Oh, my God. What can you buy and sell from this guy? Oh, just uh, your normal stuff here. Although I did want some more mana potions, but yeah, let's get some city walk. That'd be fun. Change it up a little bit. Mana Potion Large. Gives you 120 mana. Alright. Well, I'm gonna pass on... Actually, I'll grab a few small ones. You never know when you might need a fart. Maybe there's some cool stuff in here. Will you talk hey, to no me? Hey, no fighting in here! Hey, no fighting in here! Aww. Will you talk to me? Ooh, look what she's eating. It looks like a pile of shit. Um, I don't want to get on too many side quests right now. I think that's something I want to finish up after I finish the main quest of the game. So I won't be heading up to the Tower of Peace to fight those kids. But, I will be heading over to get myself, what was I getting? Oh, some cigarettes Last over at cigarette. Jimbo's. You guys got more? Aww. Yeah, we just stole a fresh pack. Not the girl kind again. Yeah, they're slibs. Smoke too if you're such a big bad asshole. So it looks like they took the last thing of cigarettes, so... Get lost, kid. We're trying to smoke here. Okay, it's six a good thing to die. Uh, Let's try out my new crossbow, then. Hmm, which they all have 302 HP, so let's I got do all this the one first. Up, bitch. <laughs> See, the 6th graders aren't part of this whole, like, stupid uh, Dungeons and Dragons and Dungeon and Douchebags thing, so they're not actually using any of the, uh, what's it called? <laughs> that stuff. They're just punching me, because they don't want to play the stupid games with little kids. I'm swapping butters. I do not... Actually, hold on. Does he have a new ability? Yes, he does. Butters transforms into the evil genius Professor Chaos and unleashes a random devastating attack. This is why I wanted to switch over to Butters, because I already saw Kenny's third attack, and I wanted to see little Butters here. So let's go Professor Chaos mode on him and see what... Oh, I need to pick which one I want. Okay. What do I need to do? Let's see how you like dealing with me. Oh, wow, I don't even have to do anything. Oh. Oh, I just hit A, sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. Okay. Beautiful. 
Okay, I'm really excited to use Butters now. I want to do that a few more times, hopefully this episode, just because there was different things he could do there. Actually, one second, I want to use my wooden crossbow again here, and hopefully get a perfect attack with maybe a fart in it. That was nice, I got perfect on that. Now, let's go Butters Hammer. He only has 3 HP, so I guess I'll just take him out real quick. And... You are dead? Bonus holy damage. His attack went up. And we will take him out real quick here. Let's, uh... Let's throw Shambeau him out. Hopefully I don't... Mess this up. I missed every single oh. one, but I still got him. Okay. That was bad. I'm happy about Butter's new ability, that's nice. And it attacks everyone, so... Let's loot the 6th graders here. Zippo Lighter. That's pretty cool. Level 7, can't use that yet. And... Some health potion that I can't take. And what do you got for me? You got that. I was thinking about maybe heading into Skeeter's first, actually. It's right next door to Jimbo's. Just to see what's over here. You know, this is going to be kind of doing the task, but also checking out the town at the same time. Well, well, you supposed to be some kind of knight of the round table? Welcome to ye old Skeeter's Tavern. Tell you what, good sir knight, I got rats in the basement. Big uns. That's why I got stuck with her majesty's goddamn health code violation. You think you're a real dungeon dweller? Then go clear out them rats out of my basement. Well, what are you waiting for? Make fucking haste. All right. I'm not going to be doing that this episode, but I appreciate the little side quest from Skeeter there. Oh, this takes you down there. Actually, you know what? I'll just do it. Screw it. Can't be that hard to kill a few rats. Actually, there might have been a smart way to take them out down there. <laughs> One mutant rat, eliminated. I would have showed you Butter's attack there, but he actually did the same one as he did last time. Oh, there's a lot of these guys down here. Alright, I'll skip through these real quick, guys. There we go, we got a new one this time. Chaos Storm! Hmm, I kinda like the other one more, actually. Oh, dang, it did a lot of damage. We got a new Butter's attack here. Hammer of Chaos. Oh my god. Did that end the battle already? Oh, no, it didn't. But it allows me to attack again because it looks like he's dazed or something. We'll take him out. Oh, I like that one. The only one I didn't get kind of looks like a healing attack, so I'm not too excited about that one. Oh, don't want to forget to loot the rat, Speedy. Goddamn, dude. Like, seriously. Oh, have I seen this one yet? Chaos Cloak. Oh, now we're shielded. Oh, I really want to do one in each battle. This is cool. I like this. Look how many shields we have up there. I have eight shields still. Butters has seven. This is like so OP. Oh my god. I feel bad taking out these little rats. They're like not even competition. Alright, and that should be the last of the rats, I believe. Unless I'm missing something down here. So let's head back up to my good pal Skeeter. Oh, I didn't loot the rat. God damn it, Skeeter. You didn't loot everything last episode. God damn it. Alright, let's go up and talk to Skeeter. Oh, good old Skeeter. Damn if you ain't a noble knight after all. All right, kid, here you go. Oh, I got two friend requests from that, so that's really good. And bar darts is a weapon. Now, what level is that? I'm glad I did that. It didn't take too long. Two new friends, which means... How many more do I need? I need two more friends, so I need to work on that. Hopefully, I'll get two more by the time I get over to do the goth kids. Um, bar darts. Oh, it's only level three. Screw that. All right, let's go. Oh, a chin poke on! Look at this. Oh my God, Speedy, you're so good. Hey, look who it is. Ooh, what? There we uh, go. Hey, I guess I hit it a little hard at the bar this morning. Thanks for waking me up, kid. You on Facebook? Damn right I'm on Facebook. skippity doppity bippity boopity walking down the street. Oh, crap. Maybe I wasn't supposed to activate this. Folks, there's nothing to be concerned with here. Absolutely nothing out of the ordinary is going on. We're simply getting ready for the grand opening of a new Taco Bell. New Taco Bell opening soon. Very big Taco Bell. It's gonna open <laughs> in a few weeks. Thank you. Uh, will this Taco Bell be serving in Chiritos? What? Well, is it going to be a full menu Taco Bell, or is this going to be one of those Taco Bell KFC combos? <laughs> we got a guy out here asking a lot of questions. Just stick to the script as laid out in the protocol. 
But he wants to know if the Taco Bell will have Inchiritos or not, sir. Damn it, we don't have a contingency for that. <laughs> Michaels, isolate and neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. Look, it's a simple question. If this is going to be a huge Taco Bell, will it serve in Chiritos? I think we have a right to know. Oh, my God. Mark? Folks, we know you're all very excited, but for your safety, we ask you stay clear of the construction site. Mark? I like how he gets shot, and she's just like, Mark? Now, is there a side quest for these two lovely people? You can loot them right in front of her. That is amazing. Sweetie? That is cool. Is there any chin Pokemon around here? Cause fuck me if I miss one, goddamn. Oh, I remember seeing chin Pokemon in the first episode. Actually, well, second well. episode. There was a chin Pokemon right up there. And you know what happens if you miss it. Everyone will tell you about it. And you know what chin Pokemon were at the time. Mow Mow! Velociraptor! Yeah! You're a douche. Well, I got some people to fight here, guys. I'll catch you after the battle. Oh, I figured out what the shit nugget I have to does. Go to the bathroom. Throw this turret at your enemies to gross them out. <laughs> and that's just an item. I should save that for a boss battle or something. God damn, I need to go shit. I'm just gonna go shit ten times and get some of those. So we need to go in here to Tweak Bros Coffee and get some coffee. All you have to do is get coffee, right? Welcome to my coffee shop. Thanks for helping Tweak out in the back room. Would you like to try some coffee? It's fresh. And here we are, the Tweak Bros Dark Roast, but they also have something special here. Speed Potion Ultra, the rare blend, raises attack and lets you attack again. Which could be really important if I'm in a battle where, like... I don't know, I guess it's not the most important thing. It's kind of expensive, too, for 15, just to use it one time. I'm not too interested in that. I should be, but I'm not. There's a rumor the girls have a secret base, but I've never seen it. It gives you that edge you need to stay focused at school. Hey, there oh, he is. Oh, wow. New kid. New kid. The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly, or you can fight. But I warn you, fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time, and you might as well skip it and just come with us. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with them. You chose wisely, new kid. Come with us. <laughs> oh my god. Because you know you're gonna fight that battle, and they're just gonna be like, well, you're coming anyway. Or something stupid like that. I might be wrong. I pro I'm probably wrong. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, I finally get to see uh, Kyle and Stan. So, you're the new kid everyone is talking about. What's your name? He doesn't talk, Elf King. He thinks he's hot shit or something. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the Goths for the wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. Then we can ransack Cartman's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all. I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. Oh no, I'm a butthole. So this is what's gonna happen I'm here. I'm sending our best ranger to help guide you. The bard is also at your disposal now. Wow, that's a big difference in the game. I wasn't expecting anything like this. So now I have Jimmy and Stan as battle buddies. And that means I guess I either get to choose which faction I want to fight with. The elves or Kingdom Koopa Keep. Wow, that's interesting. I'm just going to steal some treasure real quick actually over here if you guys don't mind. Elvis Loyalty Patch. And just to clarify... I don't pronounce the H's, that's boring. Examine, increases max HP by 5%. All right, we'll take that. What all is around here? We've got a spirit cave, which we're not allowed to go into. Can we go back here? Oh, look at this. So no point to that. But if I didn't show it, someone would have told me to go up there. Just saying. All is lost. My contacts, my maps, my friends list, all taken from me by the She-Ogre. She has no soul. You will help me battle the Shiogre and reclaim my iPhone? Perhaps you are one to be trusted. Very well. Let us end this. Alright. A new quest from him, the Shiogre. You know what every good bot should have? A flute. If I had a flute, I could play fantastic melodies. If I only had a flute, 
My Facebook says the rancher might be selling one. You know where the ranch is? I'd love to see if I could buy that suit. It looks like we probably have a new quest for him then. Is it going to come up here on the left side of the screen? Yes, we do. Magical songs for Jimmy. Which isn't Timmy, which is going to make people mad that I just made Jimmy's no Timmy's noise for Jimmy. And we got a shop over here. What's in here? Ooh, more treasure. Warrior's Axe level 5. That just looks cool. What's this guy got? Any ally of the Elf King is an ally of mine. And my shop is open to you. Well, thanks, bro. I'm going to sell some stuff real quick. So many sales! Alright, let's see what we can buy from this guy in terms of weapons. In this longbow, 188 total damage now. We're just gonna buy that. It had two things I think I could add to it. An elf blade, which they're saying that's an upgrade from 6793 times 3. Let me look at what I have first. Oh, I got a new friend request too. Sweet. So let's go into abilities first. Go over to perks. I'm going to choose one of these and I'll let you guys know what I chose. All right, something I really want to get more into is using Y when I use my uh, melee weapons to do the fart damage. And I'm going to go with that. So this one is called Fart of War. Inflict additional damage when using a magic attack with your melee or ranged weapons. Let's go with that. Yes. Now let's go look at my new items here. So we got a new sword. And actually, we didn't get a new sword. We got the wooden crossbow so far. And then we got the longbow. I am noobing it up right now. This one only goes up to 100. This one goes up to 188. And it has two things you can put on. So first off, we need to modify this. Take our thing off. Now we're going to come down to here. And we're going to put it on our new longbow. Yes. Modify. And first slot. We'll do 15 shock damage. And this one... We will add 20 gross damage. I know there's better things out there, but I kind of like just extra damage, so I'm going to go with that. We elves craft the finest shit in the land. Also, for my Fat Beard's Blade, I'm going to be putting on the Zippo lighter I got from the 6th graders. It adds 25 fire damage on a perfect attack, so let's go with that. Sweet. So let's head out of here, go through the house. Now, is there anything cool in here? Just a bunch of loot. More loot. Anything special you can do here? What do we got upstairs, though? I wonder if you can just go through every single house in this game. That's a lot of stuff. More underpants. Um, Two okay. out of five. <laughs> Jimmy's all confused because I just took Kyle's underpants. Then what do we have in Miss Broflowski's house? What are these changes, VHS? What do we got in here? Nothing special except for the garage key. Does that do anything for me? Oh, there's just a chin Pokemon in there. Cool, I have a lot of garage keys I haven't entered yet. Like, I have Cartman's key, I think I have someone else's key. My sword looks awesome, by the way, I just noticed, which is pretty sad. I continue to admire your awesomeness. Thanks, bro, I just don't understand why you think I'm awesome. Up to the U-Store-It we go. Up to the U-Store-It we go. And you can go in all these houses. That is crazy. Okay, and let's head up this place. Now the U-Store-It. Where I'll am I buying- a good price. Equipment. Oh my god, the street merchant sells the goth kid stuff. So I need goth clothes, goth cap, goth gloves. That should finish the task, right? Let's check to see if I did everything right. Oh, maybe I need to put I need to put it on first. Hold on. I shouldn't have backed out of there. Inventory. This doesn't have like armor on it or anything, so I'm just gonna put it on for now. I'll take it off later when I get into battles. Yeah, there's nothing good in using any of this stuff. And we will use the goth gloves. Minus 20 charisma, that's awesome. And that should complete the task, right? There we go. Objective completed. Buy goth cap, buy goth clothes, and buy goth gloves. Which means return to the goth kids is my next task. Which is something we are going to be doing next episode on South Park The Stick of Truth. We will have to make a very big decision, I'm assuming, which side we're going to be fighting for. And we will make that decision next episode.